pituitary gland is a tiny gland. Um, it, it has the size of the pea. It's situate, it is situated at the base of the brain. Despite its small size, it has a, a crucial role in maintaining our, our health. And because of this, it is called the master gland um, of the organism. The pituitary gland delivers its roles of uh, regulator of body functions due to production of pituitary hormones. These are substances that are uh, produced in, in the endocrine glands and subsequently are released into the bloodstream and from there they circulate to different organs and systems where they uh, accomplish their mission. The pituitary gland does produce um, a large variety of um, um, hormones. We have a posterior part of the pituitary gland which, may, which uh, releases oxytocin. This is a hormone that helps women when they um, go through um, childbirth and lactation. Then we have ADH or vasopressin. This is a hormone that tells the kidney how to concentrate the urine and problems with deficiency of this hormone um, make a person to urinate frequently and to feel more thirsty, and this is called diabetes insipidus. Then we have the anterior part of the pituitary gland, which, as you can see, produces an even larger amount of hormones. The TSH tells the thyroid gland uh, how to produce hormones and also allows the thyroid to develop normally. This is why the pituitary gland is really called the master gland of the body because it controls the functions of other glands in the body. Then we have the ACTH which tells the adrenal glands how to produce cortisol. Cortisol is essential for, for life. Then we have the FSH and LH that um, um, tell the testicles in men and the ovaries in women how to produce um, hormones that have to do with reproduction, fertility. Then we have the growth hormone which has significant effects on, on different um, organs and systems and it helps children grow tall and then it has other functions in adulthood and prolactin, which helps um, the, the woman lactate. So, as you can see, the pituitary gland functions are extensive. Um, they, it is involved in normal growth and, and development, infertility, normal blood pressure, glucose, and body temperature regulation, normal response to stress and acute illness.